Hello and Namaste everyone. Uh, I'm Pranoy and I'm a master's student in computer science and media from Germany. Um, for the course of scientific, uh, for the course of, we have a course called visualization and it's divided into infobic and private. So for the scientific visualization module uh, in the project segment, I did my own implementation of 2D line integral convolution. Um, I hope that you have, uh, if you are seeing this video, uh, I hope that you have some background knowledge about, at least theoretical knowledge about what is happening. If not, then I recommend you to read um, this research paper. Um, yeah, this is a nice research paper. Yeah, imagine the field using line in the integral convolution. And maybe look at certain uh, links, not not Wikipedia, but uh, certain other websites and other PDFs. Uh, yeah, try to read this research paper. Um, I think it's three three times. Yeah, I mean, for an average student like me, you need to read at least three times to get what what is happening. Uh, it's a nice uh, uh, paper, but the only problem I had is it has it's not it's not always up to the point. I had to search the, uh, uh, the significant sentences. But anyways, let's continue. Um, so um, um, uh, in this uh, uh, in my implementation. Uh, the algorithm takes uh, an input vector image and a vector velocity field image. Um, I, I have a raw data of five vector fields or velocity fields, and um, I just initialize it as and when needed dynamically. Mm, yeah, so let's see. This is a pictorial presentation. Uh, so uh, we, have, we have the noise vector, it's very easy to code. Um, um, the velocity vector, this image is a little bit special. So let me uh, explain to you. The light, uh, the light intensity of the red color means the magnitude of the dx and v by velocity field is high in this image. And the black color means the, ma uh, the amount of uh, the magnitude of the velocity vector is very low, uh, close to zero. And this means the magnitude of velocity vector is very high. So, yeah, usually the velocity vector field is not so visualized in this way, but yeah, and, uh, I, this is my way. And then um, we feed these two components to the light function and the output is this light image. Uh, let me just, um, um, yeah, uh, um, uh, browse through the slides very quickly. So, uh, yeah, and don't worry, I, I, will, I have a GitHub and I have posted the code on GitHub. If you want, uh, you can directly take it from it. But um, I like to explain what, um, what is going on in the code actually. Uh, there's uh, the first uh, Java class is the noise vector and it's very straightforward. Um, I will directly. Um, it's, uh, it's it's not complicated. The second is velocity vector or vector field uh, Java class. It's also not so complicated. So here you see the five vector fields that I have used. Uh, there is a website called Wolfram Alpha. Basically, you can type your own equation and maybe you can. Create your own vector fields. Just just choose whichever equation you want, and you make it complicated. And and yeah, if it's complicated, it's more fun to see the result of two D LIC. Yeah, the, this is the main step, right? Uh, the LIC magic, the LIC function. What what happens? So the, the the concept is that for every output pixel of the final LIC texture or LIC canvas. We take we uh, we we from the starting uh, pixel. For example, if we are in pixel p x and p y, we advert forward and backwards, uh, meaning we uh, meaning the local behavior of the vector field can be approximated by computing a local streamline that starts at that center pixel. In this case, p x and p y, and then. Uh, we try to move out in positive and negative direction 
uh, and basically the, the coordinates for this adversion is given in the paper, but I don't use that. Uh, the I can I can show you later in the code. It's 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 not very complicated. Uh, in the end, um, normalization needs to be performed. Uh, it's a very important step. Otherwise, uh, the contrast and brightness is not properly maintained. It's um, yeah, it is an important step. Um, yeah, and uh, the dimensions in my implementation is 512 by 512. So, yeah, um, this is the, uh, yeah, uh, I want to, to show the significance of step size. So, try to keep step size as low as possible to, or as uh, close as 0 0.1. Uh, that's the ideal step size, I think. Mm, this is the, the result, uh, a 2D LIT result with vector field 2, then the step size is 7. Uh, for example, and in this case, if step size is 0 0.1, then I, the result is more beautiful. And I think this, this uh, it can't get any better than this. So, yeah, this is the, I, I, I remember I said that I have 5 vector fields. So, this is the LIT of Vector field one, and this was the of vector field two. Vector field three. Let's see vector field four, and finally let's see vector field five. Thank you. Um, and right now, um, I can show you the code part. Oh, by the way, I have a GitHub page, and you are welcome to follow it. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. Um, I can post the link to the code in the video description. Maybe if, uh, yeah. Uh, so first, as I said, the noise texture. Uh, it's really straightforward. These are the code for initialization. To me, uh, magic happens here. Voice, voice generate noise function. And basically, what what is it's nothing. It's just for the the texture of or for the canvas size of 512 by 512 for each pixel assign randomly assign black or white color it's, it's just that it's nothing else this shouldn't be a problem uh, i hope that if you if uh, anyone who is seeing this video uh, if you want to implement it on your own uh yeah you need to have you need to have certain programming skills in java or c++ and um that, that is highly recommended and um, yeah, so you see it's pretty random and this is how uh, it, it, it can be called salt and pepper noise or black and white noise or Gaussian noise. Yeah, mm, yeah. so uh, the noise texture is now stored in my Java workspace, so it is stored. So I have closed up so that it's no problem. So this, this is the main magic. So uh, for all, for all, it's um, uh, for each pixel row wise, column wise, uh, I try to formulate the noise texture and from basically it selects, uh, it, it is casted into int. So basically from 0 to 255, 0 or 255 basically. So the values are uh, math.random gives values between 0 and 1 and then it is multiplied to 255, so 0 or 255, it's not And yeah, and then I, um, this is for out, uh, displaying the color, black and white, black or white pixel color. And yeah, so these are for the paint component uh, initializations, and yeah, now is the main class. Uh, now let's go to vector field and yeah, the vector field is also uh, it's not very really complicated but uh, this is the main uh, magic here and basically I have to based on the function I try to find the correct ranges so I use the map range function and try to display the appropriate x vector and y vector uh, for, for, for each pixel. For each pixel, uh, for each pixel in the canvas, there is an x component and y component. Mm -hmm. 
X direction was there and Y direction was there. Um, yeah, and I try to take the magnitude, and that's how I, based depending on the magnitude, I get the visual attribute. So this visual attribute depends on the magnitude of this pixel. So here, meaning the magnitude is very low, and here these lines, these are very light. So the RGB value, R value is close to 255, so meaning the magnitude value is high. And here it is close to 255. Now, let's try to do the LIP of this one. I have fixed time, and yeah, since it is in Java, it's maybe it's a little slow, but we can do it in OpenGL too. I don't know how much part it is. So, yeah, and this is the final image. Um, hope you guys like uh, this result. Um, yeah, I guess uh, thank you for watching. Uh, if you want to post, I can post it in the description. Thank you.